Welcome back to Brazen Brits. My name is Natalie. My name's Philomena. And this is Lawrence's mum. We are doing a little midweek special this week because the boys are away at play. Um, since we come back from our trip to Maine, we haven't actually cleaned the rig. Now, we have some products that we were sent two years ago now called the Ultimate Cloth. Ultimate Cloth and the Antimicrobial Cloth. Yeah, and so we were just sat around and we were like, let's let's try them out like what is there to lose and you've seen cloths like this before and you're very skeptical I'm so i'm skeptical as to their effectiveness and economy yes so we're gonna go check them out and see if uh see if they work all right so there's some ground rules about this cloth what do we need to know we need to know first of all when you first use the cloth you have to thor thoroughly rinse the cloth prior to use Simply wet it and wring it out well. For, for the best results, use the cloth flat. It saves time if you fold it into quarters. And with, well, the brown one's anti-micro... The brown one is an anti-microbial. And the white one is just the, is the standard. the ultimate cloth. Okay. And we also have our ultimate screen cloth, which can be used on screens, monitors, eyeglasses, are you ready to go try them out then? We are now. Woohoo! Let's go. All right, so let's go. This looks quite dirty, so let's go ahead with the uh, the stove top. All right, second time's a charm. That did come up quite nice. Right, so I'm going to try this one. So same thing, just rinse and rinse and repeat. Rinse and squeeze. Alright, I'm gonna tackle this fridge. This doesn't seem to be getting this very clean. Maybe we need your one. Oops. I just feel like I'm just wiping it with a wet tissue though. How do we know that it's like clean? Like what makes it... It should look clean. Well it is, but it doesn't like smell nice like if you used no. a lemon bleach or anything. No, there's no smell. It's just a clean cloth. Well, I mean, let's get in there. Did you want to try? I might just say to every guest that comes out that we have to do a video on cleaning just to uh, just get my house clean. <laughs> so how about you guys? I don't know how we managed to get dog air in the freezer <laughs> amongst other things, but we did. Uh, so let's give the cloth a go in here. Okay, here's the after. Actually quite impressed with that that's not bad at all and actually I do know how the dog hair is going here <laughs> I actually fill the dog's Kongs up and freeze them ahead of time so over time that's how all the dog hair gets in the freezer oopsie anyway I am actually quite impressed with that it still doesn't have that lemon fresh scent but it is clean So the ultimate question about the ultimate cloth, Phil. Are we giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I'm giving it a query. Oh, there were some things that I liked about it. I thought it was excellent for the, the worktops and the windows. Um, and this cloth, the white cloth, the microfiber cloth, I found was excellent for cleaning the shower tray. So on the whole, I would give it thumbs up Okay, so we discussed a few of the points that we didn't like. There's no smell. And I know that sounds really ridiculous because the whole point of this is to get rid of those harsh chemicals, but when you're cleaning something and you get that bleach or that lemon fresh smell, it feels like you've cleaned it. And okay, maybe that's been ingrained into us, but we miss mm. the clean smell. We don't get that. Uh, two, it is difficult with the small dog hairs, so gentleman with your beard hairs around the sink it's still a pain it didn't really pick those up as 
much not as we have. Well. It no. just moved them around. I was very impressed with true. actually how it did on tough stains. Yes. There was some sticky stuff in the freezer, fridge, don't know what it was. But actually with a little bit of elbow grease, as you said, that came up fine. Um, I like the price. I feel like they're only like $14 on their website at the moment. I'll confirm. I'll drop it below. We don't have any codes for you. Sorry. If we get any, <laughs> I'll let you have the discounts. Don't worry. Okay. So I think we deserve a drink now, Phil. I think we do. I think our task is done. Well, this gives me an opportunity to show you uh, a little secret surprise that I got. <laughs> this is actually for Lawrence. And this is from the people that gave us the um, the hot and cold like mug thing that we had, that we did the popcorn in. Um, this is just a smart mug. Ju Julie again. I like to call it my Julie. It's not. It's probably just Jewel. And it's one of those really cool mugs that sits on a, on a little heat plate and you can heat up. Thank you very much, Jewel, for sending this to us. It also comes with an app. That's very exciting. So let's go get coffee. Good. We shall. I think we deserve our coffee now. Yes. <laughs> 